It's a frustration for drivers, it's a safety issue, and it's something that baffles the New Orleans City Council. Why are so many lights out along Interstate 10? WGNO's Zach Labe found out. With many fed up with being left in the dark, city council members are questioning the Department of Public Works about why there's a lack of working streetlights on I-10. What's going on and what can we do as a council to change some of the responsibilities that we have to maintain lights that we do not own. The Louisiana Department of Transportation says it's the city's responsibility to maintain the roughly 4,300 lights that line the interstate. But Public Works Director Rick Hathaway says some of those lights are without power because of ongoing repair work being done by the state. DOTD had a sign replacement uh, contract and they had to de-energize the lights for safety reasons. Hathaway says progress is being made in getting all the lights back on, but council members aren't so sure. I, I just question these numbers just for my traversing the city at night. I have 10 different videos here that shows lights being out uh, all over the city and in the region that don't seem to be accounted for in their map. And they want action now. Citizens don't, don't want to hear about whose responsibility it is. They just want the lights to be on. Council member at large, Helena Moreno, announced a motion calling on the Department of Public Works to develop a master plan for interstate lighting. The motion will be up for debate in the council's Climate Change and Sustainability Committee next Wednesday. Zach Labe, WGNO News.